Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for stopping into my channel. If you are new, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. That will make sure that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. If you are a subscriber of mine from before, thank you so much for watching and staying tuned. So yeah, really quickly, let's go ahead and get on with the video. As you guys can already see in the title, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero palette I know most of you guys have probably seen a lot of people talking about this palette because it's been all the rave um, amping up even before they actually released the palette and I just wanted to come on here and give my official kind of review and my opinion so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the video so this is the package right here it is a beautiful pinky peachy type of a color and it just says Nicole Guerrero on the front here um, and then ABH on the top well Anastasia Beverly Hills it does come in this little slip here that you kind of just pull off the top casing here and when you open it up it does have six shades so the top ones here are more like pinky silver toned colors and then the bottom ones here are more like your golds and then you have like a white shade here that has like a little bit of a blue shift to it so this palette does retail for $52 and I know you guys if you're in the States or anywhere else you're probably wondering why I'm saying $52 well I'm from Canada and in Canada it does retail for $52 so I think it is a good um, value for your money, especially because you're getting six different colors and you know you can kind of mix and match them. So when I first saw the palette, I was mostly interested in the top portion here and not that the bottom colors are not nice. These colors are more of your typical gold shade and I have a lot of highlighters so I wasn't really gravitating to those ones and I just thought that there was going to be more that I could do with these pink shades if I wanted to be a little bit different. So of course on the 26th and the 27th of February they had the pre-launch on the Sephora mobile app so I jumped on and I was able to get this palette no problem. So when you look at the palette here there are six shades and it is a great value however you will notice that they are a lot smaller than the pans that were in the original glow kit and I myself have the gleam kit right here this was a limited edition product I think they do actually have like the other glow kit I think it was like that glow or sun dipped or something they still have that one available and it's the same pan sizes as this one so if you compare the um, Nicole palette to this one you can see that you only get four in here but you're probably getting um, you know a lot more in each pan so the total amount of product that you get in the gleam four pan palette is 7.4 grams and in the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills palette you only get 4.5 grams and I believe this palette actually sold for the same price as this so I think you're paying a little bit more for the name because it is a special collaboration so you kind of just have to take that information and gauge it according to what your feelings are um, some people might not care that you get less product in here but you get more variety in the shades and other people might just say you know what I like four shades and four shades is good enough for me and I personally like to have more actual product in my palettes. I want to say that when I got the palette I of course swatched it and I noticed something that not a lot of people are mentioning in their reviews. The shades in this palette do have different finishes. They are all buttery, they're smooth, and they go on easily. They pick up nicely on a synthetic brush. I really like the Morphe M501 brush. That's what I use a lot of the time. It's more of like a fluffy kind of brush. And you know, everything's nice in that context. However, um, for example, this shade Daydream is like a peachy kind of orange tone kind of color 
I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because I haven't zoomed in. And that color I really do like, but something that I noticed when I put this on my face is that a lot of these colors do have glitter. And I am someone who does not like any glitter in my highlighters, so I was a little bit put off by that and I kind of went through all of the shades in the palette and I noticed that yeah some of them have glitter and some of them don't the glitter I think is more visible when you get it on your face and the light hits your face I did try to demo this on my face but honestly I just didn't like the amount of glitter in it the glitter in this palette is very similar to the glitter that you'll find in the ColourPop highlighters because I know I have one of those and when I got that I I wasn't particularly You know over the moon about it because of the glitter, but yeah, it's very similar to that glitter It's also very similar to the glitter that you'll find in the um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters more specifically the darker shade I think it's called crown of my canopy so if you just turn over the back here you'll actually notice that Kitty Cat, Daydream, and Forever Young actually have the same formula listed on the back here. So just looking at the ingredient listing here, they do kind of have the same kinds of ingredients, but it seems like they're kind of just mixed around. One thing that I actually noticed is 143's first ingredient is completely different from what is in all of the other shades so i don't really know i'm not like a expert on what different ingredients will do to products and like how that will change the consistency however just watching a lot of stephanie nicole's videos i kind of got in the habit of checking ingredients when i'm kind of trying to decipher if something's gonna work for me or trying to understand like why this product might be different from another so that's really all i'm gonna say about that i think you guys kind of know where this is going i think the colors are very nice nothing against nicole g or anything but i personally feel like this is not a palette for me and I don't think this is going to be a palette for someone who also doesn't like glitter so I would personally recommend this palette if you don't mind like a little bit of glitter in your highlighters then this palette might work for you these colors up here on the top are going to work nicely for like a medium tan to very light skin tone complexion especially even this white shade these colors on the bottom here, the two gold ones, are more going to work for like my skin tone and deeper probably. I mean you can probably get it get away with it if you're like a medium tan skin complexion. And these two here, which is Kitty Cat and Daydream, are also going to work really nice on a deeper skin complexion as well and then i'm gonna say forever young and forever lit are kind of more geared to light skin tones so i think everyone is going to kind of have to mix and match the shades so you know you might mix a little bit of forever young with glow getter or like if you wanted to darken up forever young you might mix in a little bit of daydream but i really just feel like you have to be able to customize your shades in order to get a good usage out of this palette because otherwise it's probably not going to be worth it like for myself this color here has like a blue shift to it it is a really cool different kind of color that i haven't seen on the market however it wouldn't be something that i would gravitate to every day so for that i'd have to kind of mix it in with one of the other shades in the palette all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and go into the swatches of this palette here i'm just showing you the packaging and i'm opening it up and here are the six shades so in this clip you can see the glitter in the pans that i speak about earlier and you will further see it as i do the swatches so this is the first shade kitty cat and this one kind of has like a pg kind of shift to it um, and there you can see the glitter as I kind of turn my hand second shade is forever young um, the other thing that I wanted to mention about this shade particularly and the blue shifted shade is that it does kind of pull a little bit silver on my skin tone which I personally am not a fan of um, then we move on to the third shade which also has like a little bit of a 
orangey tone to it. Now we're going into that forever lit shade with that blue shift. You don't see it too strongly in the clips that I have here, but it definitely is visible once you get it on the face. Moving on to Glow Getter. This is a shade that I think is nice, but is definitely dupable. And then we're going to move on to 143, which I think is a slight bit darker. And it is also nice, but I think it is dupable as well. And now I'm just giving you a shot of all the colors together. Just looking at the two palettes together, you will see that some of the shades kind of look similar. Um, Glow Getter and 143 really resemble Starburst and I think it's Mimosa. I had some shades switched up in here, so I'm just going to quickly double check. Okay, so I just double checked. This top shade that I actually have right here is actually called Dripping in Gold. So that's from another palette that I had. And then the bottom one on the left here is called Mimosa. So I feel like you would probably get a very similar color from those two shades in the glow kit compared to the ones in the Nicole palette. So I just swatched them on my hand right here and I don't know if you guys can see, but they're these two top shades. And then I will swatch Starburst, sorry, not Starburst, that's dripping in gold on the top. And then I will put Mimosa on the bottom here. So just from these swatches right here, you can actually see that these two are the Nicole highlighters and these ones over here are the Gleam Kit highlighters. So the ones from the Nicole palette are a lot more intense and have like intense sheen. They look more of like a foiled eyeshadow, whereas the ones over here from the original four pen palettes are, you know, they give a nice glow. You can really build these up to have a nice, high shine kind of finish if that's what you'd like. I think the deal breaker for me is really the fact that it had the glitter in here. So it just kind of depends on your own preferences. However, I really just wanted to swatch these shades here and give you guys a good idea of like how the finish is between each palette. So overall, what I'm gonna say to you guys is I would only recommend the Nicole palette if you possibly just want to collect it because it is a limited edition palette. It's also a good value for what you're getting. Moreover, I think I would mostly recommend this palette if you do like glitter. Um, there are a lot of people that say the same thing as me that they do see the glitter and it's more prevalent when you put it on your face and there's also lots of people that say they don't find it to be glittery so I personally think that's just a case of people having different tolerance levels and different understandings of you know what glitter actually is I'm personally going to be taking this back so that's pretty much all I have to say let me know if you guys picked up the palette um, do you like it do you find it glittery do you think it's a must have have, just drop your comments down below because I want to compare and just hear what other people have to say until my next video Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again. Bye guys